Hello everyone, uh, I'm back with a new project. So this time I have made a FM transmitter. So you can transmit your voice into the FM frequency range. So here it is. Uh, so you can see uh, this is the aerial and this is a mini transmitter. You can just package it in a uh, spy bug kind of stuff. So let's see how it works. Okay. So when I speak uh, right now you don't see you know I have got my FM connected as well so let me turn it on let me turn this on and then you will see that my voice is coming to be transmitted and will come out of the FM band. there is an echo but you can hear my voice now through the FM hello one, two, three, four. Hello, hello, hello. And you see my voice is being transmitted through uh, radio waves and it's being transmitted to the FM range. Now you can also show the iPod which is working on So how do we do this? So what we want to achieve here is we want our voice to be transmitted and received by an FM receiver. So when we speak we we throw sound waves in air, right? So we need some device which will convert those sound waves into electrical impulse. Right or electrical waves. Then uh, you know if if you want that device to be cheap, you know, you can use something like this. This is called a condenser mic. It's available for like five rupees or one dollar, right? And it converts the sound waves into uh, electrical impulse. Now. The electrical impulse is very weak, you know, the amplitude is very less. If you feed this into a speaker, uh, you will uh, hear a very faint sound. So we need something to increase the amplitude or amplify those signals. So we would require something to amplify that. Now after we have this amplified electrical signals, right, we need something, some way of transmitting that into the air. So these electrical impulses uh, cannot create electromagnetic waves on its own. And we need something called carrier waves. So these are high frequency waves right, which are transmitted in electromagnetically into the, uh, into the air, right, into the space. Now we will generate, you know, we will need something which will generate this carrier waves then what we'll do is we'll add the add this electrical impulse into this carrier wave and we'll get something called like this a superimposed uh, wave so we'll get something which is addition of this wave and this wave so th both will get added up and will be transmitted through an antenna antenna can be a piece of wire it's for fm it's very simple just a piece of wire will act as an antenna and start transmitting the waves the atmosphere the space and then we'll require some sort of a receiver FM receiver and this will be able to receive and convert you know separate those two waves carrier waves and the electrical impulse and then convert the electrical impulse into sound waves for which we just use a speaker you must have seen the speakers right so they do exactly the opposite of what this condenser mic does now 
okay now let me show you what so we, we know this piece right this is condenser mic so we require something called mic so how does this mic work so, uh, so there are two two electrodes here one is cathode one is anode so the negative side uh, I suppose this is positive and this is negative just can we just ground this and we provide some electrical uh, some positive voltage to it for if you are using a supply of say 6 to 9 volt you just use 2.2 kilo ohms and then let's take a 0.1 microfarad capacitor this will be something like this okay. you attach it here so you speak here sound waves are coming here and the sound waves will be converted into electrical impulse here so this is this, this side of circuit okay. and if you want some stabilization if you don't want humming or noise you can add one uh, 0.2 or 2 microfarad 0.2 microfarad uh, ceramic or paper type capacitor here so this does this this box now we need something to amplify this right for that we can use uh, something called transistor and if you know if you have read something about transistor you know that it needs to be wired in a particular way if you want to use it for amplification so this is called has to be wired like this you can take any basic electronics book and see how it works so I put the signal here so this is the same capacitor one end of the capacitor you connect it to this point the other end goes to the microphone right so this point goes here this is a capacitor and this is how this box works which is the amplifier so whatever waveforms you input here will be amplified this way. all right so how do we do the how do we generate the carrier waves it's also very simple we just take we create something called a tank circuit so we take an inductor take a capacitor join them like this Right. and if you connect it to the positive supply plus V CC and ground it will create a wave like this notice it's it's damping down right its amplitude continuously decreases and becomes zero eventually because the energy gets lost so the energy is transmitted into the space so that energy is <coughs> the vibration then or the, the frequency and the amplitude decreases and it becomes like this so we need something some some mechanism to keep it going right so we can do that using a transistor again take a transistor like this put it here in order to sync make sure that we provided the energy at the right points right so that it's like this so every time it tries to decrease we give it appropriate amount of energy so that the amplitude and the frequency remain same. We add a feedback mechanism through one capacitor like this. All right. So this is how this carrier wave is generated. So if you make this circuit, right, and connect an antenna here, it will send out this carrier wave into the space now if I, I can connect this output from my amplifier to the base of this transistor then it will superimpose these two waves so what I have to do I have to just connect this to the base of this carrier wave generator transistor 
this will make sure that this wave gets superimposed and transmitted that's all we have to do so if you look at the circuit it's very simple so let me draw it again we need a microphone we need to power the microphone connect it to the ground Now the sound waves are converted into electrical impulses. We need to amplify this. We send it to the amplifier, which is like this. Standard amplifier. Send it to the amplifier. Now the output from the amplifier is like this. Now it's amplified. Now we create a tank circuit. Right. Now we need transistor to power it and some way of giving it a feedback. Right. So now this generates the carrier wave. Now we need some mechanism of imposing this, adding this plus this. So we connect this here. Now what's generated? Sorry. Now what's generated? this plus this and it's transmitted into the space now if we have a FM receiver depending on the choice of this inductor and the capacitor it will determine the frequency so in my case it is 89.5 megahertz this is the inductor this is a capacitor which is a trimmer this is microphone. This is a. This is the microphone. This is a transistor. These are the PFs which are used, and we put additional capacitors for stability. You can. I'll share the link with you. It's an excellent 16-page tutorial on this. Now this is how the circuit is made. This is a microphone. And these two are for. Microphone. This is amplifier, and this is the carrier wave generator, and then we superimpose the output from the audio amplifier to this, and it's transmitted into this space. So that's it, folks. Uh, I'll share the link of that excellent tutorial on web for you, which has got lots of practical tips as well. But I wanted to explain the. Uh, theory behind this. So hope you enjoyed it.